Gautama was once widespread across Mindoro, from sea level to mountains, but its population has really drastically declined in the last century because of trophy hunting and conversion for agriculture and encroachment in its habitat. And today, the species is considered as critically endangered on the red list of the IUCN. The Tamaro, or Mindoro dwarf buffalo, is our focus of intervention and conservation because the species is actually endemic to the island of Mindoro, but also the only wild scatter species living in the Philippines. Um, the greatest population of Tamaro can be found in Mount Siglit Paco Natural Park, but there are other populations outside the park, and the intervention is much needed in those areas because they are the ones that has depleted through time, and as of now, the estimates are so small that we think they cannot stand alone for so long unless intervention has to be done. So far, there is only four known sites in Mindoro still sheltering the species, and the Aorian Malati region is one of them. This region once sheltered a substantial number of tamaro up to a few decades ago. DAF is assisting the Tamaro Conservation Program from the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to conduct a field research in the Aroyan Malati region to build this baseline data on the population of tamaro there in order to assess and understand the status of the species in that region as of today. We are uh, carrying out uh, an occupancy survey. Occupancy survey will allow us to understand the present and the absence of the animal. We are using camera trap technology to do this research because of the kind of habitat that is more forested with more trees. It's more difficult to see the animal if the animal is far. Well, this, uh, this process started uh, in uh, late uh, 2019. Um, we started to do some trainings uh, to the rangers. This took uh, several trainings and going through the, most of the rangers from ta the Tamara Conservation uh, Program Office and the Protected Area Management Office of Montegli Paco Natural Park. Uh, when we uh, were about to start the project, um, the COVID pandemic started. In this period, I have to come back to Spain during the situation. This was quite challenging, so all the coordinations uh, had to be online uh, with different platforms of internet and with the difficulties of the coordination when you are not, not inside. The COVID pandemic was quite a challenge because movements were complicated and we had to ensure the safety of our staff, the rangers and the local communities. We still managed to conduct the field work to adapt our work plan and to achieve the objective we had set. Kami po ay walong Tamarao Ranger ang naka-assign sa Aroyan Malate Tamarao Reservation Area. Ang ginagawa po namin ngayon sa Aroyan Malate, nag-install po kami ng 20 camera traps uh, galing po sa Diabobin Foundation at sila na rin po nagpondo sa bawat lakad namin. Sa so ngayon po ay sinusunod natin yung scientific design. Nasiset po ng random points na kung saan doon natin ilalagay yung mga camera traps. Ikatulad nung una na kung halimbawa po dito may nakita tayong lubluban, pwede na tayo mag-decide, dito na siya. Tapos may nakita ulit tayo doon sa kabila, doon natin ilalagay. Ngayon po may sinusunod tayong protocol. We need to use the camera trap so that we can have a better understanding of the Tamaro so that we can come up with uh, needed management interventions for their proliferation and their conservation and protection. The preliminary results show that the range of the species is very limited with probably a very small population there. Nevertheless, the main finding is that there is still Tamaro in the Aroyan Malati region. Uh, dahil sa magandang pagkipagugnay natin sa mga katutubo na nakatira sa Aroyan Malati, ay nagbibigay din sila ng impormasyon sa atin kung uh, gaano pa karami yung nakikita nilang Tamaro sa isang lugar. The main focus of this uh, study in Aroyan Malati region is uh, Tamaro, but actually we are capturing uh, information about, about other relevant species like to be them in Doro Water Peak or the Black Hooded Kuka. You can only find them in Mindoro. The information that we are capturing of, uh, about this species thing will help us also to try to do an, a more holistic approach in the conservation in the area, taking into account the whole ecosystem. DNRTCP is somewhat scarce in resources and we are very thankful that the, the Avobil Foundation provided the technical and financial support that we need and with the TCP cannot do this alone without the help of DAF. We are committed to continue supporting and assisting the Tamar Conservation Program and the local stakeholders in their mandate and we are very thankful for our international scientific partners for their guidance and help in conducting this research. We are also very grateful for the funding organization who are supporting this work, which is helping to preserve and conserve the Tamaro in Mindoro.
If you want to know more or participate in the work we do at the Daboville Foundation and Demo Farm Inc. and for the Mangan Tamaro Driven Entry Program, please visit our website, Facebook page and YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thank you.